In order to predict the behavior of acids or bases in water, you need to recognize whether or not the acid or base is a strong acid or a weak acid or a strong base or a weak base. Because strong means that it ionizes 100% in water or disassociates 100% in water, whereas weak will ionize to a limited extent. So the best thing to do since the list of strong acids is way shorter than the list of weak acids is just memorize the list of strong acids. This is the list of strong acids you should memorize. Hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid. These acids are hydrohalogen acids. Hydrochloric is HCl, hydrobromic is HBr, and hydroiodic is HI. You need to memorize the name and the formula for each one of those acids. You also need to recognize that they ionize 100% in water. <clears throat> the oxy acids that you need to memorize that are strong acids are perchloric acid, chloric acid, sulfuric acid, and nitric acid. You need to memorize the name and the formula for these acids. Perchloric acid is shown right here, and the formula is H. ClO4. The green is the chlorine and then the red is the four oxygens and then the white here is the hydrogen. You can see the hydrogen is bound to the oxygen. This is a common feature in the oxy acids. It's a hydrogen bound to an oxygen which in turn is bound to a nonmetal. Chloric acid um, is similar to perchloric acid only it only has three oxygens Sulfuric acid, here's the formula and a space filling model of, hydro of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is what we call a diprotic acid because it has two hydrogens that are capable of being donated. Diprotic, two protons in other words. Um, a hydrogen, ion, hydrogen atom here and here. In this case, the hydrogens will be donated one at a time. The first hydrogen to come off is considered strong. However, the second hydrogen is a moderately weak acid and it has a Ka associated with it. So when placed in water, you can't assume that all 100% of the hydrogens will come off, but 100% of one of the hydrogens will come off. And then the last acid that you need to memorize is nitric acid. Um, and here's the formula of nitric acid. Again, it's an oxy acid nitrogen with three oxygens and one hydrogen bound. This is a strong acid as well. Now nitrous acid and chlorous acid, which are similar acids to the um, form of the uh, chloric acid or the nitric acid, those acids are not strong acids. So all oxy acids are not strong. You just need to memorize this short list here. As far as the strong bases go, the group 1A hydroxides and some of the group 2A hydroxides behave as strong bases when placed in water. And the group one, lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, rubidium hydroxide, and cesium hydroxide. You can memorize those by, if you have a periodic table handy, which you always do, um, those are the group 1A metals. And then some of the group 2A uh, metals, um, hydroxides, are also uh, strong bases. That means they disassociate 100% when placed in water. That's calcium hydroxide, strontium hydroxide, and barium hydroxide. Remember, when placed in water, um, this is an example of sodium hydroxide being placed in water, the cation disassociates completely from the hydroxide. So the difference between the oxy acids and the strong bases is, in this case, the hydroxide group is a polyatomic anion um, ionically bound to a metal cation. So these are the bases you need to memorize. The weak bases, of course, are um, largely derivatives of ammonia, and you just need to be able to recognize those.